Hi everybody, today we're at the Greater Vancouver Zoo uh, for another video in my Where Are They Now series, which features a lot of my more recognizable animals that I housed at my facility that I had to shut down in March 2011. So to see some of my animals and some more really cool animals, you can come down to the Greater Vancouver Zoo on 264th Street in Aldergrove. So we're standing in front of Wheeler Island at the Greater Vancouver Zoo, where you can see Mac up there is slowly adjusting to his new family of all girls. Now Mac is the ring-tailed lemur that was a rescue that we got in from a drug house. He was living in a bird cage, probably about that big, no, probably about four or five feet tall and in the drug house. Not a very good situation for him at all. Uh, so we got him out and uh, after the facility shut down in, in uh, March, we brought him to the Greater Vancouver Zoo where he is now. Now after his quarantine period, he was slowly introduced to the rest of the, the lemurs on the island here but they're female dominant troops, so that means the girls are in charge. So it took a little while for them to adjust to him being here, so they chased him around a bit. He went swimming a couple times, he did a lot of hiding in that. But uh, as you can see, he is slowly adjusting to the females, and uh, hopefully in time he'll be a big part of the family. Now, Manita is also our camera girl, and Manita is the animal care manager at the Greater Vancouver Zoo, who's been a part of Mac's life for the last couple of years now, and was a huge part in getting Mac to where he is now on Lemur Island with the rest of the girls. So I'm going to ask Manita a couple questions about how he's doing. So how was Mac when he first came to the zoo? Really good when he was in quarantine. Um, he There was a lot of new sights and sounds and smells, so he found that quite interesting. But we did have things that we brought from the warehouse, like his gorilla and a couple of his blankets, so he still felt at home. And we have an amazing animal care team uh, that have tons of experience working with lemurs, so they helped make him feel comfortable. And his gorilla is still on the island now, right? Yes. I think it's in his little hiding house there? Yes, it is. Uh, how's he doing since he was put onto the island? Good. I think his introduction to the island was a little bit more scary for him. He was really nervous, uh, really scared in the beginning. It took him a while, you know, being the first time he'd seen other lemurs. Um, and they weren't the friendliest bunch to him as well. But, no, he's doing really well. You can see him up there on the house, sitting really close to the troop, not quite snuggling in with the troop, but compared to where he started, that is quite, um, quite a headway. I don't know if you can zoom in or not, but I'm going to try to call his name and see if he'll make his little lever noise that he makes sometimes for I me. I don't think I can zoom in. But... Try that. Okay, here. Mac! Mac! Hey, buddy! Mac! Mac. Apparently we're not going to get a noise out of him today. Well, right now anyways. Um, so yeah, in a couple minutes we're going to go on to the island and see how Mac is doing and, and see how he's doing with the girls. And we're going to feed them some food and I think give him his vitamin. And uh, yeah, we'll spend a little bit of time with Mac and yeah, just check him out. Mac around. They think I have their food, but I have Mac's food. There, nothing. Yeah, see? Okay, here you go. Mac, see. We're giving Mac a vitamin. He actually gets people vitamins. Are they Flintstone vitamins, I think? Yeah. Alright. Seeing he's doing really well. He still loves me, I hope. Let's see what he wants to do. Here. <laughs> One over here. So we've got a special treat for him today. His brush. You know this I'm is? Them come yeah. Now this was Mac's favorite thing was to be sit, sit down and get groomed. If you can, we'll give him to put his armpits up for me here. He doesn't want his armpits. He wants to eat, but at the same time, he wants to be groomed, so he's confused. Okay, so as you can see, he's doing really well. Um, so the girls are coming around. Uh, this is a little hiding box, and the females chase him around too much. He comes and hides in here, so he's got his own little space he can get away if he wants to. If you pan around, you can see it's actually quite a big area here. There's actually three separate islands. Um, so that one we're on right now is the one that they all kind of sit and huddle on. And then that one over there is their, where they feed. And then they've got their little main hiding box over there where all the big females or all the females go to kind of get away. Especially when it's raining, they like to hide in there. And then, oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> he wants his food. 
he wants his food. I'll see if I can get him to do his little armpit thing. No, he wants food. We'll give him a second. Fruits. No? Just want to get a shot of his food here. Here see what he's eating here. He's got a, a pretty good selection of food here. Oh, he's kind of throwing his monkey chow around. No, he's going to go over to Manita. <laughs> and this is Manita. She is the animal care manager at the Greater Vancouver Zoo. She played a big part in getting Mac the way he is now and getting to where he is now. And apparently Mac loves her better because he wouldn't let me do the armpit scratching. Oh, he's going to go hide in his house now. Oh, there he is. So I'm going to take a walk over and introduce you to the other females that are here. The other lemurs. And there's Kelly. The one who does such a great job looking after Mac for me. Which lemurs are these? They're hard to tell because they all look the same. <laughs> Uh, this is Astra. Uh, Astra is Max's only friend on here, I think. Actually, I think Luna is uh, quite close to him as well. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah she's uh, sort of an outcast, this one as well. Yeah. Um, that's Luna up there? Uh, this is Luna, I think. Okay. Here. I can never tell the, the adult females apart, yeah. but uh, I think it's Luna and Venus are sort of the lower. And I'm going to put Kelly on the spot and get her right on camera. Yeah. How is Mac doing here? Uh, he's doing awesome, actually. Yeah. Uh, yesterday was the first time I've seen Mac in a tree. Yep. Um, the girls were actually huddled up in the top part of the tree over there. Mm -hmm. And Mac actually climbed up the tree uh, almost to them. Nice. And then he came down, uh, went up the other trees and tried to do a little bit of scent marking. Um, and actually was jumping from tree to tree yesterday as well. So. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Something he never got to do when he was with me. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We didn't have trees in the warehouse. So. Yeah, he's becoming a real lemur. So. Awesome. And I'll, I'll ask you one more question. Yeah. I want you to be completely honest. Okay. Who is your favorite lemur? Mac. Okay, good. <laughs> You're allowed to lie. It's okay. Well, oh, there's are, there's somebody wanting to steal close, some food from so. you. This is Astra again. Yeah. Go ahead. Astra. And we'll go back over and see Matt. Oh. Now look at the eyes on Astra real quick. Yeah. See the color of her eyes? Kind of a light yeah. golden yeah. color. Yeah. Now we'll go back and look at the Max eye color. Mac is the only lemur I've seen with this color eyes. I'll be over in like five, ten minutes. See? Mac. There, see? Oh, it's his water and stuff. No, I'm good, thanks, Ray. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to say hi to Mac one more time, and then I think we got to go. There we go. Okay, I'm going to steal him away from his food for a minute. Come here. Come say hi. Now see if we can, there we go. Now we can do the armpit scratch. See if we can get the, the double armpit. Nope. Nope. Now Mac gets matted around this area a lot. Well, I think all the lemurs probably do, because it's when they sit down, they actually fold their tail underneath and actually sit on their bums. So a lot of times you get a lot of mats in this area here. So that's why when I was brushing them before, I focused a lot of time on here, and he just sit in the love it, because I guess it feels pretty bad when it gets all matted up like that. Okay, we'll see if we can get Matt. I think I'm blocking everybody too. Anyway, so yeah, that's how Mac is doing. He's doing really well. Thank you, Kelly and Manita, yeah, for letting me come out and see you again. Say bye, Mac. Hey, yeah, say bye. <laughs>